<laughs> welcome and welcome back to another video by Munchies with Wendell. I hope you will enjoy this video. My cousin is still here. Hi guys, what's up? <laughs> Lucky to be here, you guys. Okay, so <clears throat> this video is going to be about a topic you guys have been asking for. It's about anxiety and I really hope you enjoy this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you share it. Make sure you leave a comment below to let me know what you think. If you have something else to say or something I've forgotten to say. Or just let me know how I did. How we did. Anyway, yes, thank you. Anyway, <laughs> Jin, what is your take on on anxiety? Well, um, personally, I think uh, okay, anxiety is is the body's natural way of managing on and coping on stress. Maybe something you're afraid of, I think something that is to come that you're just afraid of. That's that's what I think anxiety is. I think the same thing, but I think it's mostly fear. Of what is to come like for example if you have tests if you have to go to school if you have I can't take some water you can thank you yeah okay anyway it's just fear for something that is coming like for example personally I get anxious every time I have to record a video for you guys and don't worry I always will record a video but take some thinking <laughs> anyway so anxiety is part of disorders that may occur in everyone any age the older people the younger people and us true yeah so some of these disorders that anxiety is in is like post-traumatic stress disorder phobias where you fear just <sighs> i'm personally scared of of heights part of what I feel when I'm in high places is anxiety also there's things like OCD which is what is the meaning of OCD obsessive uh, obsessive compulsive disorder a genius PTSD the Hispanic attacks Social anxiety, where okay, in a kwanga serious social anxiety, nisha yo nam to no kwenda nje kupatana na watu. You get anxious to meet people because you usually think about what they may think about you. It's just fear. I got you heard that some time back. Yeah, people used to scare me. She was a house freak, like she was ever in the house. Yeah. If not, it has to be cars to go to somewhere. There's different ways in which you may know you're experiencing anxiety. If you experience any of this, it doesn't mean also that you're having anxiety. Could be anxiety. But it's not, okay, like, uh, for the disorders, it's on the extreme. These signs that we're, we're telling you right now are just when, like, just the slight anxiety that you might get. Yeah. Maybe, like, the normal ones. The normal one. We'll also mention the ones, the symptoms when it comes to the extreme anxiety where it's it has to be dealt with medically yeah. some of the signs for anxiety is <clears throat> a fast heartbeat your heart is do 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 in your chest that that is very slow like example yango ni very relatable tom and jerry unonanga venye jerry roho yake ina ina tokanga kwa chest so yeah there's that there's like serious heartbeats like it's very fast there's also short breaths or heavy breaths you feel suffocated or like you're not breathing visually there is insomnia i i think i'll face that today because i don't think i'll sleep if i'm to meet my guy kesha i don't think so yeah so there's insomnia uh there's also restlessness yeah you could be restless, but then that happens to me. I walk around this house. It helps me. Nita tembea, nita chapa love. Nema na wasi noni. 
then uh, there's also trouble concentrating <clears throat> like uh, you don't have your mindset to one thing yeah. so since it's like in a combined restless once yeah. you're restless your mind is just everywhere so the part of trouble concentrating on one thing that you need to do mm -hmm. which is very bad by the way you should to focus on something Nika when you go to before exam, you don't have a page like you saw me anything. You don't have a kitabu like you saw me. Akili na, you may jump you may saw me but you saw me. Akili na rapidly like it's thinking. Maybe in a kujay topic in dinner and you're on this page, yeah, but, but your head is thinking like, like what like, if it comes this other topic? What? It's cut a brain. Your brain. You have a problem to concentrate on something you need to focus on. Sometimes anxiety may go overboard, like it may become a medical condition where you feel like it's overwhelming you and there's also some indications that your anxiety has gone overboard. One of them is excessive sweating. You sweat a lot, your heart beats very, very, very fast and you run out of breath. And what else? You get chills, like um, you feeling dizzy. You get, you get numbness. Like Kwanza, if, if for example you're standing on a platform, and you're supposed to give, you 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 have a public speech. As in you just you're there, you don't move. It's like your entire body just your nerves just stopped working. You get that's numbness. That's one. I love how there's usually some kabaridi you feel. Ama, <laughs> ama sometimes. Okay, it's not for everyone, but me personally, if I'm anxious and just kabaridi, I'll feel very cold, especially my legs, and then eventually I won't feel my legs at all, so they become numb, and then I feel like I can't stand anymore so there is also a dry mouth if i can use the same example you are public speaking like you will just stand there you you're scared completely you're scared to death but then it's not that you're scared you're just anxious because you don't know what the people will say so uh, you find that you'll keep on wanting water your mouth is just dry and it's not that you have enough water but you just want water to keep your mouth equal so <clears throat> I usually thought okay Kwangu Kwangu mtu akiwa anxious like si niluambia did I say I wouldn't know what to do if someone is anxious next to me like if you're anxious okay I also get anxious but <laughs> if someone else is anxious next to me I wouldn't know what to do normally nita kuambia relax Relax. I usually thought that was the only solution, but we have other solutions or ways on how you can handle your anxiety. Yeah. One of the ways in which you can cope with anxiety is have enough sleep. What if you can't sleep enough? Funga macho. What if you close your eyes and not Eventually, you're gonna drift to sleep. It doesn't happen to me. It, okay, it's not the same for everyone, which is why we have a couple of ways to cope with it. But personally, for me, nita nili set alarm kwa simu. Ya time for bed. Nani amenda time for bed? Although si skizangi, but <laughs> you're supposed to do it purposely. Like una jembe it's time for sleep, so you put yourself to bed, you relax and close your eyes and. Eventually, no matter how long it takes, you're gonna drift to sleep. Do you know for you it's easy because you love sleep? So another solution, <laughs> another <laughs> another way in which you could is eating healthy, not stress eating, not under eating. A just, balanced just diet. Just a balanced, right quantity meal. Some friend of mine saw my previous video about depression and was surprised that I said you should eat healthy. I'm sorry. <laughs> And was surprised when I said you should eat healthy because I normally don't eat healthy. She just started eating healthy. I just started. I need to eat healthy. Which is... I get that stuff. So you need to eat healthy. That's that's, that's basically it. That's all. Which Another I thing eat. is meditation. You can be the monk. You sit down and you know meditate and you just 
put yourself in the most comfortable position that you can be feel at ease breathe in deep breaths just to try clear your mind then put a vivid picture in your mind about the best place that you'd ever want to be a very if you're a person for a calm environment picture yourself there if you're a person who has a kid for beach you love the beach and stuff picture yourself there just where you love the most mimi in a kitchen forest and it's not always about food you know forest like i love i love nature i love adventure so i i picture myself and one of the most beautiful forests where you lay down on a bed of grass and you just look at the skies, look at the birds, as in that's it's consoling to me. So meditation is also another way of handling anxiety. Oh before I forget, always do this. I have something for you. Breathe in harmony, breathe out impending disaster. What? <laughs> yes. Breathe in harmony, breathe out impending disaster. I hope you understand. You're supposed to say that or No, like... don't say that. Just breathe in harmony oh. and breathe out impending disaster. If you wanna say you can say. There's also staying active. You need to stay active. To ensure that you have something to do. Like how does you know if you how anxious you are? That one is self explanatory. I think if you have something to say about that, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. Uh, yeah, I would like to hear your comments on how to deal with anxiety. Anyway, the next way to cope is through what else? Not just different meals, like it's like snacks. Oh yeah, because like, there's different food that see that you eat when you're stressed. For me, it's yogurt. And if you wanna know, Delamere. Mmm. Oh my god, I love the Delamere. Quanta the pear caramel. If you're a lover, please, 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 can you join me? Tell me where where I can get yogurt. I sure will fly there to you. So, so there's yogurt they used like chocolate <coughs> what else chamomile salmon green tea salmon by the way if you love sushi salmon will, will really work for you for those that don't know salmon salmon is just a type of fish it's normally orange in color but it's really good trust you it's really sweet okay so another way to cope is avoid alcohol avoid caffeine and avoid smoking they're not healthy at all yeah 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 am i right jean are okay. you with me no yeah, i'm just I asking am, you yeah, I am, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Me? you yes. agree yes i agree you agree yes okay though it's still happening what is happening after the video it's still a plot Ah, so, um, anxiety can also be treated medically. If you feel like you need some medical help, you can also be treated through psychotherapy. What psychotherapy? Through psychotherapy. Huh? What's psychotherapy? What psychotherapy? <laughs> Psycho psychotherapy. <laughs> psychotherapy is basically talking to a specialist who has specialized on psychology so it's more or less like counseling right yes so if you feel like you need to go to that extent you could you could it is very normal and very okay for you to seek medical help so i realized that anxiety can cause depression but you do not have to worry because we made a video for you on depression which i hope you watched and if you haven't make sure you check it out and if you find it helpful also leave a comment and share it to someone who you think may need it i hope i helped you with this video i hope we helped you i told you she's selfish, I'm selfish. I'll, I'll always be you know see and when i'm six how how do you keep me as number two you I, know hope, I hope 
I hope we helped you with this video. If we did, make sure you share it. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, make sure you leave a comment down below if I've forgotten anything or if you have something to correct me on. If you have anything additional to say, baby, I will be most grateful. Yeah. Otherwise, guys. Also, let me know what else you'd like me to talk about down below. Yeah. Anyway, that's all we have for you guys today. You actually got to be sure to not say, say that. Say that. Otherwise, guys, it is lovely to have you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And please tag along every time. I'll be here. If you need me, call me. I'll leave my No, name. don't call. Bye.